Okay, I'm in the process of making a uh, deer hide pouch here. It's going to be like a drawstring bag so you can pull some leather on top and it'll tighten down for you. And what you need to do first, I'm in the middle of this already, kind of like I was a soapstone. I'm just going to show you guys how to make it. Uh, if you got some deer hide, you know, I got lots of lots of deer hide that's been tanned. It's all from Michigan. It's all good, soft deer hide, okay? And what I did is cut about a 12 by 12 piece out. It's more like 12 by 10. One side's a little shorter than the other. And what you do is you, you know, you lay the first piece you cut out on top of your hide and you cut another piece out. You're going to want some good heavy scissors or a draw knife to cut this out. Deer hide's pretty tough. And then what you do is you're going to get some pins like this. These pins. You can see that this one's all bent up from trying to stick it through that hide. Okay. So you're going to want to get some pins, and what you do is you lay it where you want it. And Now right now, this hides inside out. It's actually going to go this way when I'm done with it, okay? And the reason you do that is so you have your seam hidden on the inside, okay? So first lay this out, take some pins like I have. You can see the blue one here, red one here, another one in this corner up here, and another one in this corner up here. Okay, now that holds this in place so I don't have to keep fighting it and it doesn't, you know, sew offline. It'll all sew perfectly centered with itself. Alright, so once you get that all pinned down, then you want to get some line. And what I'm using is just some tarred nylon line. Okay, this stuff, now the reason I'm using it is because it's strong. It's got about 110 or 104, something like that, pound breaking strength. So I figured this would be some good stuff. It's tarred, so I know it's going to last like the leather will. Okay, so I chose that. And what you need to do, now you're not going to be able to take your sail needle. And this sail needle is even, it's a little different than a sail needle you might have seen. It's got a cobra shaped head on it. It's a little flatter, just for getting through holes a little bit easier. It opens it up so you can pull it through. And then what you need to do to attach this is actually heat that up with a lighter. You're not going to be able to tie a knot in this like you would, like say, a regular thread. You actually heat this up and then melt it and push that down on here, and that's what's going to hold that on. You can see that I can just slide this up and down on there, and that's that's how you're going to actually get this through the hole. Because if you tie a knot in this uh, line here, it's going to be too big to fit through that hole, and you're going to be fighting it the whole time. So you just Heat that up, melt it on, and then you got yourself a lot of extra. Okay, so I have quite a bit of extra to go all the way around this thing. And then what I use, you're going to need some type of tool like this. I've showed you this in that soapstone video, but I'll go over it again because this is more so what it was used for. You know, I showed you how I can put fish in line here. I have a groove there for that. I cut that off because it was all tangled up. You know, you can use this for flint napping, you know all kinds of things you can use an antler for. It's the perfect shape. I can push against it like this. And I can put the fishing line on there and cast with it, reel it around like this. And I have some bank line on here, like that. Same stuff I'm using right now. Okay, and then here I have this all, pretty much is what it is. And this is perfect for poking deer hide. All right, so what I do, you can see this is where I'm left off right here. Bring in. Okay, so I left off right here. And what I want to do is move over a space, and I'm trying to keep this as even as I can. And I'm going to put my two fingers behind. And then I'm just going to slowly twist this thing and push, okay, until I can get through to the other side. Once I do, I want to push it through that much, okay, because that's going to open that hole up so I can actually get this through. And you just take your needle, push this through. You gotta give it a little pull, and you can see how hard that was to pull through. And we're just gonna pull this all the way through. We're gonna cinch it down good and tight. Now you can cinch these down enough where it gets a little bit of a ridge like that. Let's see if I can show you that. See how this has a little bit of a ridge? That just gives it a little bit of extra tightness to it, okay? 
So I kind of give it a little pull. I don't want it, you know, cinched in where it's bunching up like, you know, bunching up like that. I just want a little bit in there to give it that extra quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going through here and poking these as I go. And I don't need to show you me sewing the whole thing. I just want to show you how to do this because it's a lot more personal and you get to make things your own way and it's cheaper than going out and buying things when you do them yourself. So you can uh, take this, get some deer hide or some other leather and try to do this on your own. Okay, now that we got everything sewed up, I'm just going to show you real quick what I did. There's a couple spots here that I've done this. You just need to tie a couple knots and it's so it can't jump back through the holes that you made. Okay, so you need to make this knot big enough so it won't do that. And you need to make sure you got this on the edge here as tight as you want it. Right now I got it where I want it. And what you do is you just push down on this knot. You got your loop here where your knot is, okay? Put your fingers on that, push down on that, and pull up. And that'll cinch it down right at the very edge where you want it, okay? Then you just make another loop, run your needle through it, like this. You can hold on to it. Same thing. You need to do that four times total. Cinch it down tight too. Okay, once you get that fourth one done, snip it off, leave a little bit of excess on there, okay? I'm talking like a quarter of an inch. And you're gonna burn this stuff, get it good and hot. It starts flaming, push it down on top of your knot, flatten it out, okay? And I like to take and heat the entire knot up just a little bit, squeeze it with my finger. Okay, so now we have the basic structure of our bag. But before we turn it inside out, we want to pull everything where we want. And you can see like right here, I've got a little bit of uneven area. This is just me. I like to trim that off and make everything even. You don't have to. I'm going to. And what we do is just reach inside the bag here like this. We can pull this out. Push everything out like so. And we can see that we have that nice sewed seam there like that. Okay? Instead of having the seam on the outside, it's on the inside. And you see how that little wavy pattern is? That's what happens when you tighten it like that. Okay, and it just gives you a little bit of a tighter lashing and it gives you a cool little effect like that. Now this bag here, you know, I didn't sew with a sewing machine and I didn't want to punch 3,000 holes in it. So, you know, you could lose little items if you had like, you know, a BB in here, it might fall out, but all your big items and everything, they're not going anywhere. It's all gonna be just fine in there. And that's the main point of this, just to hold in some more items that I can keep separate from the rest of my pack. Now what we need to do is make the second part of this, turn it into a drawstring. Now I'm going to be using strips of deer hide here, like this right here. Okay, this is going to be my drawstring. What you need to do is get yourself a good amount of it. This has a knot in it. I swear knots just sometimes tie themselves. So what I did here is I left some excess on the top of this thing. 
because to make a drawstring you need to be able to sew this piece here let me just get the end of it to show you what you're going to have is this piece here sewn underneath here so when you pull on it it's going to cinch everything up like so okay so we need to make sure when we cinch these down you can see right there I ended this piece right there leaving me about a little over a quarter of an inch maybe three eighths right there okay so leave about three eighths quarter of an inch should be fine alright so I've cut two equal length pieces alright now length is all on your opinion I want to be able to strap this over my shoulder if I want to if I want to just carry this out and um, you can do this with just one, two. You don't need two like I'm going to use, but I have an idea and I'm going to try it out. But you can use two or one to cinch to make a drawstring bag. And what you do is find center on this thing. Okay, so you find center. And you're going to lay it over this like that. And what's going to happen is you're going to punch holes like we were doing underneath this. And you're going to sew this under here. Okay, and then you're going to be able to pull on this and it's going to cinch that bag closed. Okay, that's the idea of it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of using just one, I'm going to lay another one the opposite direction. Okay, so this one's going to sit over here coming this way like this so what I'm going to have is a two drawstring bag where I'll pull it together pulling on each end and it'll cinch it together just like that okay so I'm going to make sure you guys can just see everything I'm doing here what I did is I found center on my uh, straps here and I took a pin stuck it through it stuck the center right at the very end here like that okay uh, I did that on the other side with this piece because I have two separate pieces remember and then what I'm doing is I'm just pulling these all taut and then I'm tucking them up in there as far as I can okay I can feel them up in there in my fingers like this I'm rolling them up in there and then I'm making my hole as far up there as I can because I want them up there good and tight. And remember, we're not working from inside out now. Now we're just pulling the inside to the outside. And overlapping our straps here. Okay, so poke it through. Grab my needle. Make sure my straps are still in there. Cinch it down. And I just keep doing that until I get all the way around. Okay, well, you saw me do the time lapse there of this top part. You can see, I just got it stitched all up there on the top. And I have two strings running out here. Okay, one's coming out each end. And remember, one is looped around this way and one is looped around this way. So, what that does is creates a cinch when I pull both of these. You can watch here. See, I pulled both of those and it just cinches down. Okay, so that's how you make a nice deer hide drawstring bag. Okay, that's my little version. That's how I want to make it. It's quick, it's practical, and it's going to last me, and it's going to hold some stuff for me and keep it separate from the rest of my gear. And the reason I wanted to use two is because now I could make a loop in this end here, tie a piece of deer antler on this end here, so I can easily string it together like a necklace, like the necklace that I actually made is done like that. 
and then I could make almost like a little haversack where I could hang this over my shoulder like this. I mean, you can't see me, but it's the perfect length for it. So, now you know how to make one, and you can get out there and go test your, test your uh, sewing skills out. Now, don't underestimate how tough deer hide is. That's why I have this tool here. Remember that. Okay, make yourself a nice little tool. The antler's good because it's strong and it's not going to break on me. And I have that perfect curve here to push with. Okay, or I could put my thumb here and push. And this thing's sharper than sharp right here. Alright, so it'll poke through. I got a good grind on it. And it works good for doing this kind of work right here. But there you have it. There's my deer hide drawstring bag. You'll probably see it down the road with some stuff in it. Maybe some more videos with it.